Sometimes you're gonna to need to upload files on Moodle. The two contexts that could happen in most likely are gonna be a discussion post or a forum post. And the other one's gonna be when you submit an assignment. So we're gonna cover assignments separately. So we're just gonna look at discussion posts now. So I'm just gonna add a new discussion topic and I'll just put some text in here. I'm gonna go edit insert image. You do need to click file or upload an image. And I'm gonna go choose file. And I'll go ahead and grab this screenshot. Uh, let's go with that one right there. Uh, you can give it a name if your original file name's not descriptive. Hit upload file. It is going to take a minute. You got to wait till the spinny thing is done spinning. Just to warn you, it could take an extra like 20 or 30 seconds afterwards for Moodle to process this file. I did grab a smaller file, so hopefully it goes a little bit faster. What we're going to do next is resize the image because this one's going to be really wide and really tall. Uh, so I'm going to give this a description. I'm just going to call it screenshot one. And on the appearance here, you can edit these. I like to leave constrained proportion. Otherwise, your image gets very uh, skewed, stretched tall or stretched wide. And so I'll just put approximately half. I'll do 600 and I hit the tab key. I typically don't mess around with the other options here and hit insert. And you can see your image right there. If it, if I made it too small, you can double click it or not. Uh, I right clicked and insert edit image. And you can change these numbers to something that works a little bit better for you. All right, so this is how you're going to put image files in. If it's not an image file, that gets a little bit more tricky because Unfortunately, this embedded file doesn't work that well. So it's not an image file. You're probably going to want to use attachment down here and you're going to hit add file, choose file. And all these are images here, but in my downloads folder, I got a few non images. I got a PDF right here and I have a F3D file. So let's go ahead and use this F3D file. And you can give it a name, but again, it would just use that file name. So that's probably just fine. Got to wait for a little spinny thing to go away again. And once this is done, uh, you don't have to do any resizing or anything like that. And we're just going to hit the uh, submit at the very bottom to finalize our forum post. Um, and this is for any file that doesn't, that's not an image, not a visual file. You're, you can put it down here in the attachments. All right, my screenshot. So you can see the image file shows up here and that attachment shows up here. If I attach more than one file, it would show up as a list of several files. So that's the way you can attach files or embed images in your forum posts.